Okay, this is for the engineering side of our family, of the Evans family. And all of these things are things that Joe has built. These clocks, this machinery, all of these things, which are absolutely beautiful. All right. What's more in here? Ah, we'll go and get a few more. Oh, there we go. That's incredible. And you just kind of did those all freehand? Yeah, some of them I had plans to start them and other. Okay. I That's beautiful. Off, I got some down stairs that I took off on my own. I'm finishing up. And, and also there. this clock. Oh, my goodness. You are a craftsman of craftsmen. Way beyond me. All right. We're on here with Joe Evans, and he's going to tell us about the Evans side of the family and that we have a number of relatives out here that we didn't even know. Right. Thank you. It was just recently, I guess, in the last five years that we know learned about them out here. But basically, as I understand it, and laying out the family tree, and my brother's big time into it, the one that's up in Maple Valley. But basically, as we figured it out, what has happened is your great-great-great-grandfather, Joshua David Evans is also my great great granddad. And he got married in Wales and had, I don't know, six or seven kids, of which my grandfather, Ben Evans, was one of them. And then Guy Evans was, I guess, the last one born. Okay. And then they moved to the States in the Iowa area. When Joshua's first wife died and he remarried, I think it was a Bachman. And at that point, that's where my dad always said he left. He abandoned Iowa and his family here and went west. But I don't remember that much. Mainly what I remember about Uncle Guy, though, is his visits. He'd come out, him and uh, Reeve would come out. Always had a bow tie on. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I enjoyed, Dad and I would take us down to Centerville there and stop in the scene once in a while. And I would enjoy going there and looking at big books. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember what they were, but they were huge books. And they... Oh, in his house or in his office? Okay. In both. Okay. Yeah, so. You ended up with a slide rule. Yeah. When I was trying to make up my mind in high school there, is, is to, once I figured out I was going to college, Try to figure out where I want to go. And Uncle Guy was up one time. We got to talking about it. You know, he tries. He was starting to convince me, that I need to go to Iowa State because that's where Kenny was. Yeah. Watch Kenny here and enjoyed it, and what a great school it was, and all that sort uh -huh. of thing. And uh, when I was a senior, I pretty well made up my mind that uh, I needed to go to Iowa State. And he was up one time, and he found out that I was going to go to Iowa State. You know, shortly thereafter, Kenny had the accident. So the summer before I went off to college, he come up and one weekend there and brought the slide rule. He said, here's the deal. I'm going to give you the slide rule. It'll save you some money when you get there. You won't have to go buy one because I'm going into engineering oh, yeah. too. He said, you take it back. He said, here's the deal. You got to finish and you got to finish for Kenny. That's the deal. You got to finish. <laughs> so I carried the slide rule five years, but uh, every time I run across him, he'd encourage me, you know, go back and Get that degree, finish. No, harder, no matter how hard it gets, you gotta finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. So, there used to be a building up there named for Kenny at Iowa State. And I don't remember now where it was. I remember attending classes in it. It was one of the engineering buildings. Oh, interesting. It had his name on it. Either the building or the auditorium or something oh, there okay. had his name on it. But I can't remember now. I'm sure it's gone now. I you never know. We went to look it up online. I never did find it. Your grandfather, uh, who was Guy's brother, was he also in coal mine? Was he a coal miner, or because uh, uh, that's how Gramps got started? Yeah, he was miner. Okay. I don't remember exactly what caused his death, but he's buried now. But yeah. he's there. there. His son David is there. His daughter Margaret's there, and, and then Dad's there. They're all right together in Albion. The story I'd gotten that my dad said that he'd gotten from Gramps was that David Joshua Evans, when he left Wales, he said, according to Gramps, he got out one step ahead of the sheriff. 
because he was involved in union activities. And so I heard the tale about him coming out of out of Wales ahead of the noose. But, uh, oh, did he? <laughs> I've heard that story several <laughs> times. Okay, tell me that. Tell me what you know that, about that's that. That's all I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> but are the three there were three original kids by uh, Joshua. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, sec the second family. Well, the second family is out here, but the first family there I were. I think it was seven. Yeah, okay. eight. But, but I think Uncle Guy was the last one. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, like Ben was the second one. And that was your my grandfather. Your grandfather. Okay. Yeah.